reaction when you were traded? Um, well, obviously after um, you know 11 years as a player and uh, and almost you know I got there as a teenager, um, so uh, you know we kind of expected that something could happen, and then it seemed like nothing was going to happen. So uh, you know once it happened and, and we were new, we knew our destination. Um, you know we got real excited. Um, you know. Um, because it gives you a chance to compete uh, at the highest level, and uh, you know, one, once on the side, called and uh, talked to some of the guys in there, and uh, everyone said about this, you know, the same about making a run to the title, and uh, you know, that gets you know your juices going, and uh, it makes you real excited. What are those days like when you think you're going to get traded and you think you're not going to get traded? Like, walk us through what what's going through your mind. I mean, I posted something in social media that it was pretty yeah. <laughs> accurate. <laughs> Maybe not the the quality of, of the singing, but um, but that that's the kind of the, the feeling that you get. Um, you know, you don't know, you don't know, and it's out of your control. Um, you know, and everyone is talking about it, and everybody is is asking you, and you just don't know. Um, but uh, as far as the routine goes, the habit is the same. Like I stayed, you know, with my family uh, and uh, my kids, and you know, that's that's a pretty good distraction to that. Yeah. A look at your top teams in the East, and they all made moves, or most of them, the Milwaukee Bucks. They added Nikola Meritich, the Raptors added Mark Gasol, and the 76ers added Tobias Harris. So when you look at Gasol coming to the Raptors, do you think they saw that, hmm, Tobias Harris getting traded? We have to make a deal as well to try to keep up with this arms race. I'll take it a step further for you, Chris. It's more so of showing Kawhi Leonard that I'm willing to do whatever mm -hmm. Yes, Boston may not have made no moves. We know Danny that speaks for what Danny's uh, staying patient. You see him in Milwaukee, Bud Ball, they're shooting more threes. That makes sense. But bigger picture for Toronto, for me, Tough Juice, Masai Ujiri's doing every little thing possible to say, Kawhi, we're going after it this year. And if you sign and stay here for the next four or five years, there's another big guy to play with you with a defensive mindset because I know you're a defensive-minded guy. And also offensively, we know we can go through you now to go deep into the playoffs. 3D, I, I think that's an excellent, you know, observation of looking at the Toronto Raptors. But also, I look at the Team West and I look at the Utah Jazz and the, the moves that they didn't make because the development of the guys that was on the, ra on the roster. So now I look at the Raptors and I think that they had to make moves because the the – the development of a guy like Siakam. Yes. He's he's, yes. he's a really good player, yes. borderline all-star this season. Mm -hmm. So now with the development of him, it's like, okay, we're, we're ready now. All we need is one other thing that could put us in the half-court situation, a guy we could play through, and we can get over the hump.